In this topic, we will discuss about the maintenance breeding in self and cross pollinated crops for development of hybrids and seed production. Branch of plant breeding deals with the study of principles and methods of multiplication and maintenance of nucleus and breeder seed is called as maintenance breeding. The main objective of maintenance breeding is the continuous annual supply of fresh nucleus and breeder seed so that other types of seeds such as foundation seed, registered seed and certified seeds can be produced. Maintenance breeding is also called as varietal maintenance technology because in this process varietal deterioration is prevented which is caused by mutation and cross pollination. Following characters of seeds are maintained in this process genetic purity, physical purity, germination and seed health. First of all, we will discuss about the maintenance of nucleus seed. Harrington in 1952 developed the method of multiplication of nucleus seed. There are five main steps in nucleus seed production. First step is sampling of variety. During sampling process, not more than 15 new varieties should be sampled at any one research station. Maximum 200 plants can be selected in one yield trial. Selected plants are harvested 4 to 5 days before maturation so that shattering can be avoided. Poor, diseased, and inferior plants are discarded. All 200 selected plants should bind together and stored in cloth bag until yield results are not obtained. Bundles of high yielding varieties are kept safe for further examination and inferior varieties are discarded. Second step is table examination of samples. Selected bundles are threshed separately and seeds are examined in piles on physical purity work board. Piles with the undesired characters as diseased, off types etc. are discarded. Remaining pure seeds of individual plants are grown in variety purification nursery which is called nucleus seed. Third step is location and seeding of nucleus seed. 200 or less progenies must be grown in 50 double rows of 4 series. There must be sufficient spacing between plants and between rows so that examination can be done easily during crop growth. Fourth step is inspection of nucleus seed plots and rogging. Examination is done from seedling stage to maturity. If any plot seems distinct from nucleus seed variety then it must be removed before flowering. After flowering and during maturation, plots are examined for other characters such as flower color, ear head shape, seed color etc. and off types are removed before harvesting. When a plant is removed after flowering, then all plants in 3 meter radius around must also be removed to prevent the contamination. Fifth step is harvesting and threshing. Remaining 180 to 200 plots are harvested individually and their plants are bundled together. Individual plots are separately threshed, cleaned and dried. Now 
take seeds of each plot on physical purity work board in piles and examine for uniformity of characters. Discard the diseased or off type piles. Now mix up the remaining plot seeds to make a seed lot as shown in the diagram. Now seed treatment is done with fungicide and insecticide. Now these seeds are bagged, labeled and stored for the production of breeder seed next year. Next we will discuss about the maintenance of breeder seed. There are two approaches for breeder seed. Pre-released or newly released varieties and established varieties. First is maintenance of breeder seed of pre-released or newly released variety. First step is selection of field. Breeder seed stock must be grown on clean fertile land where same crop must not be grown in the last year. Second step is isolation. Field must be isolated properly to avoid contamination due to natural crossing and disease spreading. Third step is agronomic practices. Latest farm practices in sowing, raising and harvesting must be adopted to raise a good crop. Fourth step is adapted area. Breeder seed must be produced at experimental station of that area for which variety is to be released. Fifth step is sufficient spacing. There must be a sufficient space between rows and between plants so that individual plants can be examined and off-type plants can be removed easily. Sixth step is rogging. Rogging must be done before flowering. If rogging is done after flowering then all plants in one meter radius around the infected plant must also be removed to prevent contamination. Seventh step is harvesting and threshing. Breeder seed must be harvested carefully. Equipments used for harvesting, thrashing and cleaning must be cleaned properly to avoid physical mixing. Seeds must be stored in new gunny bags. Second is maintenance of breeder seed of established varieties. First method is by raising the crop in isolation. Breeder seeds must be grown in isolated plots and vigorous rogging must be done during various stages of crop growth. Second method is by bulk selection. Genetic purity can be improved up to satisfactory level by bulk selection. In this method, 2000 to 2500 plants are selected which represent the typical variety. These plants are harvested and threshed separately. Seeds of each plant are examined. Seeds showing off types or dissimilarity are discarded. Now collect the seeds of individual plants as a bulk and make the breeder seed stock. Next we will discuss about the maintenance of nucleus and breeder seed in cross pollinator species. In cross pollinator crops the maintenance of variety is much more complicated than self pollinator crops. First is maintenance of nucleus seed in inbred lines. First step is hand pollination. Self pollination or sieve pollination or both are used in inbred lines. Individual selfed or sieved ears must be critically examined. 
of types or inferior types are discarded. Ears are examined for these characters texture, seed size, color, shape, etc. Individual, selped or sieved ears are threshed separately. They are sown in double row plots by ear to row method. Second step is seeding of hand pollinated seeds. Hand pollinated seeds must be sown in fertile land which is free from volunteer plants. Same crop must not be sown in the field in the last year. Seeds must be grown in that area where hybrid is to be released. Third step is isolation. Proper isolation distance should be maintained to prevent the contamination due to natural cross pollination and disease spreading. Fourth step is inspection of double row plots and rogging. Double row plots must be checked carefully before pollen shedding and off type plants are removed. Identification of off types is very easy because they are more vigorous than inbreds. Fifth step is harvesting, drying and shelling. If artificial drying facility is available, then seed crop is harvested just after physiological maturity. Piles are critically examined for these ear characters of colored, of textured, diseased, undesired. If overall percentage of off types are more than 0.1% then hand pollination is done again. After the discarding of undesired ears, remaining ears are collected and dry them in clean dry bins where temperature must not exceed 43 degrees centigrade. Shelling is done after drying. It should be done in cleaned machine to avoid physical mixture. Seeds are cleaned after shelling. Treat the seeds with fungicide and insecticide. Now label the seed and store in ideal storage conditions. Second is maintenance of breeder seed in inbred lines. Seeds must be grown in isolated fields. Following conditions must be adequate. Land requirements, isolation, rogging, field inspection, harvesting and drying, and sorting of the ears.